Welcome back. Joining us on the show, we have Philip Schlesser, and he has created his own very set of chef knives for the kitchen. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is very impressive. Uh, we got this press release, and we learned that as a Kamloops story, uh, you've designed these yourself. So tell me why you decided to do this. Um, I started, um, I went to school in, for culinary arts and um, started cooking and then traveled around and cooked a lot and uh, ended up in Denmark to study industrial design, which yeah. then brought me to Vancouver to study more design. And so right now I'm trying to con combine design and food, those things I know quite well. Right. And then I come up with a, a brand called Chatwin um, to make kitchen products. So yeah. this is the first product that I'm launching as a uh, set of kitchen knives because it's one of those more useful things in the kitchen. Right, so you're a huge cook, you're a huge fan of cooking. I cook a lot. And yeah. so you put all of your sort of best set of skills together and made these mm. knives. Yeah, I have a lot of knives at home and yeah. um, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of come up with my, the perfect knife for me. Sure. And so I designed it basically for myself, but then friends were interested and then I thought, well, I'll just make a product, right? Sure. So it's called the Chatwin Heirloom Knife Collection. Yeah. So uh, let's hear about what they do. We, we have some pictures. We'll <clears> go to that in a minute. But uh, well, here, let's go to the pictures now. Uh, these are some shots of some of the knives. Tell me a little bit about what makes these unique. Um, what makes them unique is um, mostly that they're designed around being um, purely functional and then the aesthetic follows with it. So when you look at them, you think they're somewhat sculptural. Um, but the goal is actually that every little detail is functional where you have this little mm -hmm. thing here, you can put your finger and guide the knife. Mm -hmm. um, they're quite ergonomic. If you close your hand, you actually have more space here than here. Right. So they, they actually wrap nicely, um, your hand wrap, wraps around the hand. And um, then kind of rethinking how a knife would actually work, right? Yes. Um, so when you do butchering, you might slide over here and cut your tendons. Yeah, nobody <laughs> or so, needs to do that. So you, you know, it's a bit, basically a stopper, but also you can just chop veggies, right? Right. And um, then using a steel that also is quite user-friendly, you don't have to sharpen it too much. Right. Um, and that they're sharp and easy to sharpen yeah. as well. Right? I was watching online, David Toombs from Terra Restaurant yeah. tried yeah. them out in his kitchen yeah. for yeah. a few yeah. months, uh, and he had many good things to say about them. Maneuverable, yeah. lightweight, <clears throat> The length and balance is good for long, repetitive tasks if you're yeah, chopping, yeah. chopping, chopping. So, uh, you know, he's one of our most highly regarded chefs in town. Yeah, he's yeah, lovely, and they yeah. have a beautiful restaurant. They do great work there, so that's great accolades yeah, from him. Yeah. Uh, let's do some chopping. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can chop and talk. Um, okay, so what... Uh, so what? the idea, like everyone always is asking, like, uh, how sharp is the knife? Um, a knife is only as sharp as, you, as much as you sharpen it. Sure. And so um, these are, right now, they're factory sharp, so you can slice pretty easily wow. through stuff. Um, the but then, here. but then there's other people that think that the paper paper test is great, and then you can also just cut you know, through paper. Right? Wow, that's but impressive. I'm not going to cut through nails or any of that stuff, and sure. then cut a tomato afterwards, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's not good um, that. no. Um, but yeah, the the idea is that you can guide them easier, and if you chop a lot, um, the goal was to also have a knife that is well balanced. Um, a lot of um, Often German knives, they're quite heavy, mm -hmm. and they're, they're really good knives. Mm -hmm. But here I'm trying to have something where you actually, your arm doesn't get too, too um, tired. Yeah, right? there's the close-up we've been waiting for. All right. Uh, so it's for ease of, of flexibility and maneuverability, they yeah. look like they're there just go. slicing through like butter. Yeah, you can just chop, 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 chop stuff, right? I mean, doesn't that make you want to, that makes me want to make a salad for lunch. Yeah, a nice leek salad. But, but yeah, they're, they're pretty sharp. Yeah. So this is the chef knife. Yeah. And that's basically the workhorse um, in the kitchen. Then uh, this is a petty knife. Um, and the petty knife is good for like fish, for meats, for mm -hmm. smaller things. Or you can also like do some carving or you can slice small things. Um, and then you have the, uh, the paring knife. The paring knife. Which is often pinched a little closer yes. to do a little turning and whatnot. So okay. um, I wanted to have three knives that basically can do most of the tasks at right. home, right, in the kitchen. So those are the three sort of yeah. pieces that you should get if, yeah. if you're looking for to cover um, up your bases. Yeah, I think, I think um, those are the ones that you mostly like, will use. You only have one hand to use knives, so you're not going to have use two at the same time. That's right. right. That's and right. Uh, so the idea was also that it's uh, easy to kind of carry around, and this is a little magnetic uh, knife holder that's so nice. when, you, when you look at it. Oh, well, that's beautiful. It's actually like it magnetizes it. And then there, when you, you can you hide them in there. Yeah. And then when you close it, yeah. the nest 
in the box, right? Very interesting. And then so you can just put them in your laptop sleeve or carry them around. It. So I travel <laughs> quite a bit, and uh, when I travel, I always bring my knives. So I thought it'd actually be useful to have. But certainly not as a, a carry-on. Those are never going to make. Not as a carry-on, no. Yeah, but I really like but the traveling. safety fe feature of that closing up. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it is a safety feature. Um, I have a two-year-old, yeah. so he runs around in the kitchen. Sure. So when you close it, it's actually quite hard uh, to open it. Partly. Uh, for a small person, yeah. um, partly because the the magnets hold it together, yeah. so it's not just going to open randomly on yeah. you. Right? So it, it is quite thought through, and I think the the packaging itself took just as long as the knives to design them. Right? Uh, exactly, but you know what? A lot of the time, the packaging is what gets forgotten, and so I appreciate that yeah. you've got the magnetic, you've got it foldable, you've got it hideable. It's secure yeah. for children. Yeah. People need that, right? And obviously, the the knives are extremely sharp, easily yeah. maneuverable. Uh, so it was kind of fun to ch chop some vegetables with you today. <laughs> um, Catalyst of Innovation was a part of this too. Yeah, so um, when, when I uh, came to Kamloops uh, four years ago and Kamloops Innovation was just starting and, uh, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to uh, start a design business and uh, they were really supportive to push that ahead. Yeah. And then also uh, all the prototyping has been done in Kamloops uh, with the Makerspace, which is uh, on Victoria Street, yeah. on the second block, 200 block. And uh, they have awesome tools, so we've been like CNC routing and uh, cutting and a lot of stuff. And uh, local companies, they've been quite supportive in coming up with the prototypes. And there were like hundreds of prototypes. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and Kamloops Innovation was great uh, to support and uh, awesome community. And yeah, as a startup. Well, it's a really great local success yeah, story yeah, about yeah, the yeah. creation of these knives. So, uh, Philip, we're really glad you could be Thank here you. on the show with us today. Thank you so much for um, Yeah, so welcome. And if you would like to learn more about these knives, uh, perhaps this is something mm -hmm. for your Christmas list this year for somebody in your family. Uh, Chatwin.co, that's actually not a typo. It is Chatwin.co, yes. phone numbers there as well. Also, Kemmels Innovations website if you'd like to learn more. But uh, definitely uh, take down the uh, website if you're interested in ordering some up. Uh, Philip, thank you again for being here today. Thank you. All thank right. You so much. You're very welcome. We'll be back after a quick break. Stay with us.